What up peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Just got to the outlet once again. As you guys have probably noticed, I've been trying to come here a lot more often and hopefully we can find some cool stuff today. So I'm gonna head inside, probably film a video for the other channel. Uh, so if you wanna see the behind the scenes, link in the description, Thrift for eBay is the name of the channel. So I'm gonna see what we can find. I'll show you guys when I get out. All right guys, so I just left the outlet and I got a lot of stuff today. Not a ton of like stuff for the store. There's a lot of dollar toys and stuff like that, but, um, and I got like, you know, just a couple cables. I got a Wii remote and stuff like that. Nothing that I think is worth showing you guys in this video. However, and I know I've been, you know, telling you guys about this a lot, but um, we do have another channel called Thrift for eBay and the link is in the description down below. If you guys want to see what I picked up today at the outlet, uh, you're gonna wanna subscribe to that channel because I will be posting a video here in a couple days. Um, I, I filmed like a 10 minute clip showing everything that I got, not just the stuff for the store, but everything that was for eBay and Amazon as well. There is some really cool stuff in there. It's just not video game related stuff that is the coolest thing in there. So uh, I'm not gonna show it to you in this video, but you can subscribe to the other channel if you'd like to see it, and it'll be up in just a few days. One eternity later. All right, guys! Yep. We close in just a few minutes. Yeah. And so we're gonna go through and show you guys the trade-ins from today real quick. Um, there's not a ton, but the stuff that we do have to show you is really, really good stuff, yeah. and we're excited. So, first, we've had this thing for a while, and I guess it was missing the game. I guess the game must have come in today, because it's back here now. That is Defiance for the PS3 Special Collector's Edition. I'm surprised it's only $30. <laughs> but the tag says fully complete, so it must all be in there now. But there's that. Nice. And then we just go through these two stacks randomly. We're going to try to save like the best stuff for last, but there's still good stuff in the cheaper stacks as well. All right. Well, I'm starting off with this. Got Ghost of Tsushima. Mm, very nice. And then we have Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Three. Kingdom Hearts Three. Mm. Medal of Honor Warfighter Limited Edition. Doom. <laughs> Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring. Oh, that was Doom Slayer's collection. Nice. Yeah. Then we got a Blu-ray. That's uh, this two-headed shark attack and mega shark something something can you see when you're can you see the thing when you're holding them up no uh, not always because <laughs> you're, you're like you're like this uh, <laughs> oh well they saw it enough <laughs> back for blood for ps4 never heard of that one but this looks like a game abby would like to play she's been playing uh dead by oh, daylight yeah. yeah i think i've seen people play that game that one looks pretty cool uh then we got don't breathe two we have Mario Maker for the 3DS. Got Lord of the Rings, the uh, the Return of the King. Yeah, <laughs> that one. We have Streets of Rage 4 for the Nintendo Switch, and it comes with a soundtrack and the uh, limited run card there. I'm going to butcher this, but uh, Makiwa? Ma I don't know. Makiwa? I don't know. It looks like yeah, that one. Well, that one. It's an anime, so it's probably if it's if it is like a Japanese word, it's probably said differently. But yeah, probably. I think if that is an English word, then it would be said makai or makwa, something like that. Mm, that sounds but right. Who knows? Who knows? We also have Super Meat Boy Forever, Hell which is yeah. sealed for PS4. It's got the limited run card with it as well. Nice. Got Kiki's Delivery. Some of the stuff I should mention um, was stuff that was just entered into the system today. It wasn't traded in today. It's just been waiting to be entered. So some of these Blu-ray and DVDs and stuff are from Abby's collection. And then a lot of these other items are sealed. And sealed items have to be entered in a different way, which is why they're, they haven't been done until now. Yeah. So we have, like, Zumba Fitness World Party sealed for <laughs> Xbox One. Not too exciting, but no, people it's, just been, for that. it's just been sitting around. <laughs> Got Spice and Wolf. It's like a thick... 
collection. That's a thick boy. That's a thicker. Oh, I don't want to <laughs> curse. <laughs> that one's sealed as well. <laughs> Batman Arkham Origins sealed. Yeah, I think actually all these Blu-rays have been sealed so far. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got the Cat Returns. Also sealed. Yeah. The Crew Wild Run Edition sealed. Got Tales from Earthsea. Minecraft. I'm not going to keep saying they're sealed. Just they're all sealed till we yeah. say they're not. Yeah. And then we got the Ancient Magus Bride or Magus, Magus, I don't know. Magus. When we got part one and part two. Ooh. Yeah. We have Lego Marvel Collection. You grab from the stack. Okay. Just so we'll finish off the sealed ones. Yeah. Got Street Fighter V or V. We have <laughs> NBA 2K20 Legend Edition with a slip cover. Nice. Got NBA 2K18. Bam. And PlayStation VR demo disc. So that is the last of the factory sealed ones. Yep. And got some PS2. Got Sly Cooper. So these ones, like this stack right here, these are all games I picked up at Goodwill yesterday, but they were oh, put into the system today. So there's that one. Nice. I, I probably showed you guys these, but I didn't show you with our tags, obviously. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts. Ace Combat Assault Horizon. And this one, when I found it, it was a loose copy, but we actually had the case and manual to complete it. That's nice. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. Nice. That was $3.99 at Goodwill. Heck yeah. <laughs> Same with this one. That was also $3.99. Ooh. Got Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2. Yeah. So cool to find expensive games at Goodwill again. Like, they're not mm -hmm. cartridges, obviously, but <laughs> I'm going to take what I can get. Heck yeah. Got uh, World Series Baseball 2 for the Saturn. I think that's the only Saturn game we have right now. This was also Place from Goodwill, but Skylander Superchargers. Lego Star Wars 3. Batman Arkham City Game of the Year Edition. Look at all like the text and stuff on yeah, the front of this. It, uh, it looks, it looks really, really bad. It looks like a magazine cover. <laughs> Got Just Dance 2016. And The Surge 2. Nice. So, that's not everything. Uh, we nope. saved the best for last. We have, yeah. we had a Sega Genesis collection traded in. Uh, I wasn't here. I was at Goodwill when it came in, but Abby said that the guy drove from like three hours away to bring it to our store, which is really, really cool. Um, we have two different stacks okay. because um, my friend Sam is interested in buying a bunch of them. And oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, we're trying to keep those separate just so we know which ones he's looking at and by the time this video goes up if he does buy them that deal will be done so yeah. um, if you don't see any of these on the website it means that they have already sold all right but it's not just genesis we do have a few other things first yeah first we got some nes uh com well i think they're both complete i don't know about that one this one doesn't say uh, this one's in poor condition but we got a uh, karate champ looking all right the back you can see where the like hang tab that, yeah, used it's like to be. Torn off. <laughs> yeah. The other NES game is Krusty's Fun House. Heck yeah. This one doesn't say poor, but it definitely is. So if it's not marked as that, it should be. There's a rip up here. You can yeah. see it's got creases and all that. It also doesn't say if it's complete. Um, we're usually write that on there, but it should be accurate on the website. Yeah. Let's show this one. And then okay. we'll yeah. and then we'll show this one. Yeah. We got a loose uh, GameCube game, but it's a good one. Got Skies of Arcadia. Bam. Such a good game. Yeah. I played it a little bit. Not bad. I played when I lived in Florida. I didn't beat it, but I got really far. But I played this one, not the Dreamcast one. Yeah. Mm. And then we have one Super Nintendo game, which is a bit more expensive than some of the Genesis games. But I'm going to show it to you guys first so we can just finish off with just Genesis. Yeah. But we got a complete copy of Doom, which is pretty cool. This one is also listed as being in poor condition. I think I got to open this to show there's it's not like ripped it's not even really like that creased but there's like mm -hmm. this is worn white that's not i wouldn't call that a crease but it's worn white that's a crease um but it's just kind of like worn yeah it has just like a lot of shelf wear you can see like all the little white spots and everything um so yeah not the best condition but it's all there definitely not the worst though yeah not seen the worst. really bad <laughs> super nintendo yeah. boxes that one that would be is okay not too that. bad <laughs> okay, so onto the Genesis collection, and yeah. then we have a couple other things um, after that. I don't want that one. 
Herzog's Y. <laughs> Ryan didn't want to say it. I knew um, I was going to say it wrong. <laughs> Okay, so they whoever put it in did get it correct. The barcode has been cut out, mm -hmm. so this should be listed as poor. They put cut label right on the thing there. Yeah. So, oh, there's also Sharpie on the cartridge. Aww. Well, I've got a Ghostbusters, and it says it's complete good, so that one should be just fine. Then we have Contra Hardcore. That one says complete fair. So why is it fair? Nothing on the outside looks pretty darn good to me. Yeah, I don't know why it's listed as fair. <laughs> but whatever, it looks good. Yeah, it looks good. I'd say good. Then we got Complete Fair Mutant League Hockey. There it is. I don't know what's fair about this one either. Yeah, there's the manual. The manual's a little worn. You can see like... Yeah. But it's not bad. Like this... I mean, I guess that would Here's that would cartridge. bump it down to fair from good, but I mean, it's it's. I, I would consider that good. I yeah, mean, I think it looks good. Genesis manuals aren't really held in place very well, like like no. a PS2 <laughs> one is. So it's kind of hard to get one that's perfect. Yeah. Next is Shining Force Two. This one says complete pour. The top is pretty creased on there, and so is the bottom. But mm. I will say that inner box is generic, so you could I could take one from Miss Pac Man if it was yeah. really nice and put it in here. Mm, that's so, true. but so it is poor. Nice. All right, this one's also poor, but it's complete. Got Master of Monsters. That's I'll cool. show you what's poor about it. The label. There's uh, a couple chunks torn out. But the manual looks pretty good. It's pretty good. It does have a crease right here. Well, I guess the manual's not yeah, that it's good. It's got a like, crease going down it, but... The case is good, though. Yeah, the case is really good. So, those are the ones that uh, Sam is not interested in, so this other <laughs> stack here, we still wanted to make sure we show it because it's really cool stuff. We want to show you guys what comes in, but, like I said, this stuff might be gone by the time you see this video. If it's not on the website, that means that he bought it or someone else bought it. Yeah. So, we have Shadow Run, nice. listed as Complete Fair. Crackdown, also complete fair. Which I've never seen before. Yeah. Too bad I stopped collecting Genesis. <laughs> These ones are not in order by price. We have Landstalker. Mm. That one says complete fair. And we got an Indiana Jones ripoff, uh, Ernest Evans. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the other Indiana Jones. Yeah, you, you see him? Doesn't that look like Indiana? I've never seen that game before either. Yeah, no, me neither. But, like... Totally Indiana Jones right yeah. there, right? Like, I mean, he's even got on, a whip. He's got a whip, except it's metal. Whoa. So, it's like so a Castlevania metal. whip. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Last one is Mega Bomberman. Yeah. And that one's marked as complete pour. The bottom and top of the box, once again, is creased. There's also a little crease on the side right there. Hmm. So those are the ones that Sam's looking for. And then really quick, these aren't trade-ins from today, but I wanted to make sure we show these to you guys. Um, these are games that we got in a little while ago, a few days ago, a week ago, whatever, but they're in the system now. They're on the website. So <laughs> we have Albert Odyssey for the Sega Saturn. There's four Saturn games here. They're all in very good condition. None yeah. of the discs need to be resurfaced. Uh, there's no cracks on the cases as far as I can yeah. tell. There might be a small one here or there. very little like right there. Yeah. Like, where it normally does. But like these don't even have like the wavy back arts or anything. These are like really, really nice condition ones. So Albert Odyssey. Got Shining the Holy Ark. We have Dragon Force. And Shining Force 3. And then I also got these in the system today. We have Mario Party for 64. <laughs> okay. And we got Wild Guns for the Super. Damn. That one's in fair condition. Uh, this one's also fair. We have Metal Warriors. And honestly, in my opinion, these are good, but we bump it down if there's like anything at all because we don't want someone on the website to expect something and get something lesser. So yeah. what we do is we, we try to, uh, what's the saying? It's like um, over, um, yeah, it's I like, uh, you're thinking of the same yeah. thing I am. Uh. <laughs> it's like under promise, over 
deliver? I, is that what it is? I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. But this one, it's just got like a couple little white dots there on, on the, the edge of the label. But other than that, it's really good. This one has a bit more wear. This one's pretty uh, worn. This one's pretty bad. <laughs> but uh, it's Final Fight Guy. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but like the whole... Oh, you can kind of see it. No. We did show these the other day as well. Yeah. I showed close-ups and everything. Yeah, so It's kind of hard with the... There's one guy in particular who's been checking yeah. the website every day trying to buy this yeah. game. And he knows the condition on it. He said yeah. he doesn't care about the condition. So... Hopefully he ends up being the one to get it. Yeah, hopefully. But yeah, and then, could be better. Also, the back is torn up. Yeah. yeah. And then the last one, unfortunately, it's also poor, but you guys already saw, and that is the Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut. Heck yeah. There's the Blockbuster sticker on the back, and it says Clay Fighter right there. Mm. So it's like the original back for it and everything, Dang. which I think is pretty cool. cool. But that stuff is in the system now. It's all ready. If you guys are interested, check out the website. It's the top link in the description down below. Yeah. And I'm gonna let Ryan get home. All right, peace. Sam decided to pass on the Genesis games, so they should be available. All right, guys, we are home now. Figured we would do an outro real quick, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you again tomorrow.